You know, I thought printing identical parts would give me identical fits. Well, I was wrong. This table doesn't use any screws, fasteners, no glue. It's completely 3D printed. We needed a small bedside table. And instead of buying one, I thought I'd challenge myself and print one. On paper, it makes perfect sense. Identical parts don't always behave identically. I printed the identical parts on the same printer with the same file and the same filament. Some joints were perfect and, well, some of them weren't. When something is meant to be furniture, it matters. The one simple thing that saved the whole project. So if you've got two components that are a sliding fit, but they won't necessarily stay together, all you do is you take a piece of Teflon tape and you're going to wrap it around the male part just to take up the little bit of slack. And it doesn't take much, you know, so there's a little bit of variation in each of these. So now it stays together. I tried to hide the seams, but in hindsight, instead of trying to hide them, I would have integrated a pattern by putting a V groove in those seams to create a pattern. Trying to hide the seams was a mistake. If it's visible, I figure I'd make it intentional. The next time, I'd make sure that the pattern, it was like an engraving into the table. The other thing I would do differently is I would add more clips to hold the centerpiece more rigid than it currently is. I ended up adding these glass beads, marbles, whatever you want to call them, into the legs in order to be able to have the table more stable on the floor. This lives beside the bed. It's not a prop. It's not a shelf. It's a bedside table. It's not a perfect project, but it taught me a lot more than a perfect one would. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe and watch this video next.